two months after the Lagos state government instituted the panel of inquiry into SARS-related offences and the Lekki Tollgate shooting, more cases are being heard by the panel. Plus TV Africa was at the city. At about 11 a.m., 12 cases were before the courts today on police brutality, but two stood out. One is that of Unduku Ekekwe, whose spinal cord was broken during a raid by men of the now disbanded Special Anti-Robbery Squad, SARS. With the accused SARS officer at the witness stand, he was cross-examined. He however denied being responsible for Unduku's broken spinal cord. His account of the story is totally different. He accused the 34-year-old of being involved in armed robbery and other criminal activities. On 16 February 2018, based on the intelligence report received in our office, which has one engineer and others are involved in into entering people's warehouse and offices with arms and ammunition and dangerous weapons. We must bring an end to this matter. You want to take Friday or you don't want to come in at all. The matter will be adjourned to Friday. The 18th of December. The case of Felicia Okpara was mentioned for further hearing. It's that of alleged physical abuse and brutality meted out on her by men of the Nigeria police during the October and SARS protest. The people that were brought in there they were not denying that they didn't arrest me, and they were not denying that they didn't beat me. And the accused police officer, IPO, made his way to the witness box. One of the female suspects that was released by name Kimakola Felicia Opara came to see the divisional police officers with some people. She told the divisional police officer that she's an orphan, a single mother, unemployed, and that she was ill. Based on humanitarian ground, the divisional police officer gave her 200,000 naira. It's now another adjournment for January 8 as the recorded video evidence clip of the brutality was presented in a CD format rather than a flash. The mandate before this panel within six months is to bring to bear the truth of the alleged killings and brutality meted out by men of the now disbanded Special Anti-Robbery Squad and to verify the claims of killing during the October 20 Lekki Togit massacre. Hello, hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.